Hello everyone and welcome to DIY Spa. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own heat pack using fabric, rice, hot glue, and essential oils. The essential oil is optional. Most people use lavender because it's soothing, but you can use whatever kind of scent you want. I'm going to be using cucumber melon for mine today. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is cut your fabric into whatever size you want. This will depend on your personal preference and how much rice you want to put in there, how big you want your rice bag to be. I did mine roughly the size of a notebook. Once you cut everything, you'll have a vaguely rectangular shape for you to create your rice bag out of. Your next step is going to be gluing the sides closed. Start off by folding your fabric in half so that the edges line up and then hot glue the two sides closed. Too much glue is going to be better than not enough because you don't want any of the rice falling out of the sides. So take your time and be careful of the glue and make sure that you cover all of the opening. Once you're done gluing the sides, you'll have an opening at the top like this so that you can add in your rice. While we wait for the glue to dry and set on the sides, we're going to mix our rice and essential oil. You want to start with like five to six drops and then you'll add more depending on your personal preference. You don't want it too strong because it's supposed to be soothing and you don't want it to be overwhelming. While you're mixing in your essential oils, I recommend using a bigger container than what I have here because you won't make quite as big a mess as I did. You want to make sure that the oils are evenly distributed so that it covers all of the rice that's going to go inside of your rice pack. I switched the rice into a jar that I had on my desk so that it was easier to mix and to pour. So you're just going to add that to the open spot in your fabric bag. You want enough rice to where it fills up most of the bag and that the fabric can lay flat without the rice bulging over in any spots. This can be anywhere between like three to six cups of rice depending on how big you made your heat bag. I could have used a little more rice in mine, but it turned out fine. Just like you did with the sides, you're going to hot glue the top shut. I recommend taking this part in smaller sections so that you can really make sure that every inch of the opening is glued down. You don't want any spots for the rice to come out later. Once your glue has cooled down and set, 
you want to take your bag and shake it so that you can see if there's anything you need to re-glue. There's a couple spots on mine that need to be glued back down, so I will do that now. Okay, so I did end up cutting mine down a little bit so that the rice was a little more proportional to the bag. I just cut off the extra fabric and then re-glued the side, did another test to make sure that none of the rice would fall out, and it was good as new. Now, your new rice pack can be used as a heating or a cooling pad. To use it for a light ice pack, you just freeze it. And when you want to use it as a heating pad, you want to microwave it for 15 second intervals. You want to make sure that you don't get it too hot, otherwise your glue will melt and you don't want it to burn you while you're using it. And that is your brand new rice bag. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you next time. Bye!